Aliens vs. Predators is exciting, but there's been some really good Predators vs. crossover comic series that are seriously worth the read. So here's my pick for five of the best Predators vs. crossover comic miniseries. Your picks may differ from mine because... Duh, you're not me. Starting with number one because... I don't like to count backwards. Archie vs. Predator. I know, Archie isn't exactly known for being that riveting, even with that new sexed up version. Archie, a kid is dead. I saw you guys. But Archie vs. Predator is not only gruesome, but hilarious. See, they knew that the mini comic series was a joke, so not only did they run with that, but they also made it so fucking awesome at the same time. The deaths are so good in this, and I would encourage you to read it just to see the unique ways the Predator takes care of the teens. It also has a pretty good twist to it, and if you're one of my subscribers, you'll probably like it. I feel like this Predator vs. comic series is the silliest on this list, but seriously, you can't go wrong picking this up. It's only four issues, it's a fast read, it's super entertaining. Just do it. Number two, Batman versus Predator. The premise of this one is simple. The Predator comes to Gotham and faces off against the Batman. I know you're probably thinking this also sounds cheesy and awful, but really it isn't. The artwork is beautiful, the storyline is good, and honestly, who doesn't want to see Batman face off against different franchises' monsters? Put your fucking hand down. This versus is particularly fun because, well, I like Batman. But because you watch the world's best detective trying to figure out why the killings are happening, who's doing them, and all the rules to the murders. At the same time, it has fun bits to it, mixed in with the gruesome, of course. Like watching the Predator learn English from TV and how Batman chooses to communicate back. Also, I highly recommend this mini comic series just to see the awesome battles between Batman and the Predator. Also to see Batman just get absolutely fucked up and we get this sexy costume. If you love the Alfred-Bruce relationship dynamic, I recommend this as well. Alfred is very endearing in this miniseries. I mean, it's hard not to love Alfred in general, but the Alfred in this miniseries just tugs at my heartstrings. And just FYI, if you really enjoy this one, there are other Batman vs. Predator editions after this one, so I would definitely dive in to those as well. Next, Tarzan versus Predator. You'd think some dumb ape man armed with a knife would get absolutely owned by the Predators who are technologically advanced, right? Oddly? No. They're on his home turf, the jungle, and given his extraordinary senses and strength plus agility, he's a pretty good matchup against them. This versus miniseries is worth picking up if you want to see how technology can be completely trumped by a dude in a loincloth swinging around like a fucking idiot. Of course, he does start to use tech, which then makes it a little less interesting as you get a bit further into the story. But it is fun to watch Tarzan just go berserk. Like, he just completely loses his shit at one point when he thinks something that I'm not going to spoil happened. My only warning for this one is it starts off really good and then they introduce some weird dinosaur shit that honestly feels a little rapey and kind of ruins it. However, it is trumped by the fact that we see a predator kill a dinosaur and rip its skull out. That alone makes this worth the read. Okay, number four, Superman and Batman versus Predator and Aliens. I highly recommend reading this one after you read the Batman vs. Predator miniseries. In this one, both Batman and Superman have encountered the Predators before, so they aren't completely blindsided by them. And of course, because it's Batman, he's built up defenses against them. This comic has a twist, though. Batman and Superman aren't really versus them in the traditional sense. They're actually trying to save them. Of course, as you'd expect, saving them isn't that easy. It is a really neat premise and results in some really epic panels, but at the same time, it gets a little frustrating. I realize I don't have the ethics of Batman and Superman, but at one point, it's just, kill the fuckers already. Lois says it best in this comic though, Batman and Superman arguing superhero ethics when it comes to aliens is just Pretty darn fun. Highlights and why this one is worth getting. Seeing Superman and Batman bicker is the best. 
Seriously. They fight like an old married couple, and it never gets old. We also get to see inside Superman's fortress, which is insanely cool. And if you've ever wanted to see our caped heroes punch an alien queen, well, here's your chance. If you do read this one and like it, I also highly recommend reading The Predator vs. Justice League of America. This one is short and sweet, but the action is decent. Plus, how can you turn down reading a comic that has panels like this? Both terrifying and hilarious. Also, they become meta-predators, and it's exactly what you think. Pure awesome. Lastly, number five, Superman vs. Predator. I put this one last because... It's not the best, but I still liked it. But I still thought it was better than the Predator vs. Dread one. This one is interesting because Superman is depowered thanks to a virus on a Predator ship. That means we get to see Superman struggle because, like he said in this miniseries, if he had his powers, all of this would have been resolved quickly. So if you really hate Superman and want to see him get knocked around, read this one. There's also an evil scientist that has a really, really fucked up plan. Just really messed up. So if you're also into evil scientists, read this one. Okay, those were my picks for the five best Predator versus crossovers. Which would you have included? And if you would have included the Dread one, why? I'm genuinely curious. It, it really just didn't do it for me. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and come back for more videos.